Hey y'all, my name is Brooklyn and I'm here to demonstrate safe glove removal and splinting skills for my Kinesi 220 class. So my assistant Crispin here has broken his arm. You can see we've got bruising going on. It's very starting to color up a little bit on us. So we wanna get that taken care of as soon as possible. I have assessed the scene um, and made phone calls to EMS because I don't have anyone else here to do that for me. So I made sure to do it before I got started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is apply gloves. And this just ensures that if there are any open wounds on the um, brake, that nothing comes in and harms Christopher and nothing comes out and harms me. So now that I have my gloves on, we are going to splint his arm. And since there are no splinting boards around, we're going to use a book. So we're gonna take the book and press it to the brake. And Christian's going to assist me a little bit here. And we're gonna tie it off at the wrist. And then again at the elbow. And if the tie off that secures the splint is too tight. Um, we can see that by his fingers either turning blue or he experienced a tingling feeling and um, he will also let us know. So Crispin, are you experiencing any of this right now? Is it too tight? No, it is perfect. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. And now we are going to sling his arm. And first thing I did with the sling was tie off one end of it. So it acts as like a rest for his elbow. And essentially what the sling does is it keeps the arm elevated and not dragging down like it should be. So now we're gonna tie the sling around his neck and over his shoulder so that it stays in place and it is elevated. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to swathe it. So while the sling elevates it, the swathe keeps it in place so that it's not all floppy and it's not moving all over the place. So now I'm going to go behind him. Oops, sorry. And just tie the swathe. And you can use this with any kind of gauze like roller gauze or anything that is accessible to you. I used a sweatshirt. And then lastly, the most important thing is safe glove removal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pinch the palm and pull. And then with the exposed hand, I'm not going to touch the actual glove. The exterior, I'm gonna go inside and pull and make a ball with the gloves and dispose of them properly in a biohazard waste bin or a sealed Walmart bag. And that's it.